Welcome to the Smoke Learning Channel. This video will show you how to perform a single point position track to track a layer to a background. If you would like to follow along, please click the link in the YouTube description to download the media. If you are watching the podcast version of this video, then type the link displayed in your internet browser. I will first show you how we track layers in the sequence using the axis timeline effects. We will then repeat the same process, but using the Action 3D Compositor in ConnectFX. This will give you a clear idea of how to perform these tracking operations, as well as the implications of each workflow. So starting with the first method, here we have a sequence. The bottom layer is a car driving on the road, and the second layer is an arrow we want to track on the top of the car. This arrow was brought in as a mat container on import. To key the mat container over the background, click the Effects button and add an axis to the layer. So to track this using the Axis Timeline Effects, click the Axis button in the Effects Pipeline and press the Editor button. Ensure Preview Options are set to Preview Effects. This means you'll see any unrendered effects below the current layer in the sequence. In the middle of the object menu, you will see the Stabilizer button. Beneath that are three options for configuring the Stabilizer. The mode is set to Track, and Rotation and Scale is off. This means the Stabilizer will perform a one-point position track. Now before we enter the Stabilizer, it is important to point out that we are working on the main layer axis. This is the topmost level of transformations and animation in axis. As a golden rule, tracking must always be applied to the topmost level of any animation structure. Any offsetting or repositioning after tracking should be applied to a secondary level of transformations. Now go into the Stabilizer. The Stabilizer is a 2D point tracker that is available throughout Autodesk Smoke. Simply put, you choose a point on your image with a pattern definition, high contrast and colour variation, and tell the Stabilizer to follow it. The solid inner box defines the pattern you want to track. The dotted box defines the area of the Stabilizer that analyses for the pattern. So if the Stabilizer finds a pattern match in the dotted region, it is able to perform a track. To illustrate this, click in the middle of the tracker boxes and position the boxes on the front of the car. The magnifier will help you accurately place the tracker boxes and you have defined the badge as the tracking pattern. Now you can choose to analyse the track forward or backward depending on what frame you first positioned the tracker boxes. Click Analyze to start the track. You can click anywhere to stop the track if needed, or just let it complete. Press Return to exit the Stabilizer. Start scrubbing the time bar and you will see that the tracker data has been applied to the X and Y position at the layer transformation level. Secondly, Note that the centre of the track layer is now at the same position as the tracker box inside the Stabilizer. Next, we want to scale and reposition the arrow above the car. You must not disturb the tracking keyframes in the X and Y position. Therefore, you must switch to the Offset Transformation level. This is a secondary level of layer transformations you can use. First, Let's move the centre point to the tip of the arrow. You can do this using the centre sliders. Now make the arrow quite small. Next, move it up and position it on the roof of the car. Finally, just rotate the arrow in Z to tilt slightly. Just note that when you adjust the rotation slider, the cursor mode switches to Rotation. So press Shift M to return to the regular SELECT mode. Scrub the time bar to see the result. As far as the usual steps go, 
you can exit the Access Timeline effects and render the result. So this is how you track layers in a sequence. Let's move on to the next video showing the same example but using Connect Effects, the Action 3D Compositor and the Access Nodes. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the Smoke Learning channel for future videos.